Hey shooters, here we are. Let's see what month is this? It's March. It's March. The snow is finally, well, the snow hasn't fully left the range yet. It's a little bit chilly, about 43 degrees. Uh, but uh, it's time for an out of the box and to the match gun review of something that, uh, a gun that I've reviewed before, only its smaller sibling. Jonic. Now I know, to all of us, that looks like Canic, but it's pronounced Jonic. What I tested before, and you guys, if you go back to my videos, look at the link somewhere, you'll see I got a 40 some odd videos, was this one the TP9 SA. Uh, I really liked it. It shot really well, it uh, was very reliable and accurate. Solid little pistol. Well, this company has really listened to uh, competitive shooters. Instead of coming out with a subcompact like everyone wants to do for the blood and guts crowd, they've come up with a competition model. Here's the original and here's the new one. Now, longer slide and they've lightened the slide probably to equal this. I haven't weighed it, but my guess is it about equals this in weight. Uh, the loaded chamber indicator's gone off the top. It doesn't have the decocking unit. It does have Warren sights. I'll put this one down. It does have Warren sights. Real deal. Warren sights, front and rear. Good fiber optic front. So they, one of the issues I have with every gun, they put crappy sights on them. This has a nice set of steel quality sights. And instead of having the decocker here, they had to eliminate it because what do they have? They have a series of these little, uh, like the modular sight system, the Glock, MOS, whatever they call it. And as you pop this thing out, pop this unit in, and you can bolt in any of the small uh, little red dots out there. And I have one mounted up, ready to go uh, for a Burris. Um, this is the Fast Fire 3. So two screws, bolt that in place, and it's um, carry optics ready, or just general purpose. I don't see as well as I used to, and now I have a, a red dot optic on my gun. Anyways, we have the genre. This is called the TP9 SFX. Super Fast X? I don't know what it stands for, but it's pretty cool. Now, they've done a few little, uh, just looking at it, it looks like the frame is almost identical, or is identical. They might have changed the uh, the rail a little bit. So that they actually made a new mold to cast a new frame, but other than that, it looks just about identical. The trigger looks a little different than the, the first gen. Uh, the trigger is a little better. It's, look how short it resets. Come in close. I haven't weighed it, but it's, it's rather crisp and rather nice. I like it. You know, interchangeable, interchangeable back straps or two, just one, two. Oh, extended safety, An extended safety button. I mean, this, they really thought about competition with this gun. Extended uh, slide stop or slide lock. They really thought about it. So this shoots just exactly as good and just as reliable. They got a winner here because they have the modularity with the red dot sights, longer sight radius for us older guys that like the long, longer sight radius, uh, an improved trigger, and uh, the ergos are the same. So it's a good quality piece. And guess what? It fits my Glock 17L holster. <laughs> Almost perfectly. So, out of the box, to the match. Gun review with a Jonic, not Canic, TP9 SFX. See you on the range. You may load and make ready at your convenience. Yay! It's convenient for me to load the Jonic. C A N I K. Jonic. Okay. The TP9 SFX with American Eagle. See, this is American, anyways. Syntec. The lipstick red bullet. Let's rock and roll. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four, seven, six, four. Point. Who set this stupid stage up? That'd be me. Shooter ready. Stand by. <laughs> Five, seven, one. Five. Shooter ready. Stand by. Five, four, five. It sure feels good. Sorry, I pulled a Dale there. Oh, did you? I don't care. <laughs> Dale likes that. I know. Shooter ready. Stand by. Six, 
six, six, six. You know, I set the stage, ooh, that's <laughs> not good. I set the stage up intentionally to screw people up. You right. miss, you good, and I'm. You forgot you had to shoot it. Yeah, I fell, yeah, I fell into my own trap. Curses, foiled again. Shoot it ready. Stand by. Six, seven, three. One more. So I now hit review. Yeah, five. Yes, that was the last that one. That was the last that one. Was the last one. Okay. Yeah. When you're on. Yeah. Actually, I told him the last one. Right. Clear. Okay. That has a distinct odor. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's a little oversprung. It still runs fine, so it really isn't. I mean, not for functioning. Uh, trigger's nice. A little cold out, so I'll use that as my excuse for not shooting it as well as I could. The gun can shoot. Again, it's only 25 or 30 rounds, so maybe I'm pronouncing it a little too early. You may load. Let's go, Zonic! Shooter ready. Stand by. Five, seven, three. Okay, got the first two, and I'm gonna break the shot a little early to go in the box. You're ready. Stand by. Say it again. That's pretty. Five, three, zero. We'll get there. Shooter ready. Stand by. Five, six, zero. There's a groove. Shooter ready. Stand by. Seven. <laughs> Last one. Just don't broke bullets down range. Don't bullets out. Five, huh. Hope that's a slide fire. Right. <clears throat> Shoot ready. Stand by. Zero. You may load and make ready. Come on, Jeanic. Now we've had this is our third stage. I haven't been doing a really good job with the gun. It's a little cold, but the gun's running great. And again, based on its brother, I expect it to run all the time. What do you think? Left or right and down, or no, right to left? Straight up. Straight up. Got it. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two, four, three. Hey, that was nice. That was accidental, Still I promise. Check. Yep. Shooter ready. Stand by. Yep. Two, three, five. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two. One five. Say two one five makes me. I, I want to do a two zero. Oh. I'm, I'm going to try too hard and miss. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two zero seven. <laughs> okay, stop there. Stop yeah. there. A forty right, dollar bill could make that too. You and I know each other too well. What are you going to do? I'm going to do a one ninety seven. No, you're not. <laughs> No, you're not. That turns into a four. It turns into a four. Shooter ready. Stand by. I missed the last one. Yep. Two, zero, eight. See, I tried anyways. I had my counseling from my coach, missed. Will, and I didn't do it. I still missed the last play trying to go as fast as I could. Well, it kind of tells you that the Canic is pretty, or Jonic is pretty cool. It makes me want to shoot it fast. Trigger is nice. Recall impulse. 
I'd have to play with it a little bit more to really see how if it dips, because it, it seems to be oversprung, but BFD, it's got everything else right. You may load and make ready. Come on, Turkish Wonder Gun. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, two, eight. <laughs> that trigger's a lot different. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I wow. saw that. <laughs> Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, six, seven. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four, six, zero. When I like a gun, I tend to try to shoot it faster because I can. And I like this gun, so I'm trying to shoot it faster. And I can't. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh, come on. Four, Arr. five, seven. Is it four, five, seven? Yeah. Last string. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three zero six. Oh. Yep, clear. It's oversprung, but that's not why I'm missing. I'm missing because I'm jerking the dang trigger. Canic, solid performer. One more string. One more test of glory. Yay! You may load and make ready. The last five strings of the match. Last chance of glory. Come on, Jonic. Smooth and easy. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, seven, four. Three, seven, four. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, four, eight. Three, four, eight. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, two, zero. That's Shooter ready. Stand by. <laughs> Five, zero, six. As soon as I get a little success, I blow it. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three, five, five. Three, that should five, be it. Five. Chuck, one more. No, that was five, sorry. Shonic, oh. mm. pretty cool. I like, see, I like its little sibling. The big brother's a little easier to shoot. It's just cold and I got lots of good excuses and I don't want to use them, but it's a good gun. Hey shooters, out here at the end of another out of the box and to the match gun review. A lot of shooting in one day. Um, I actually made a, since I'm so short on time when the season's just begun and I'm booked solid for so many weeks out and there'll be very few matches. Hear all that? A lot of excuses at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video. I'm sorry for that. But the fact remains, I have very little time to accomplish a lot of tasks. So I made the mistake of shooting two guns today for video. That makes it difficult on the shooter. I'm not quite adept enough to sh bring the best out of guns when I'm swapping between guns, especially between gun styles. Today I shot two guns, and here's the one I'm going to talk about right now, and that is the the Jonic. The Jonic. It is the P, uh, TP9SFX. Just hit the market. Uh, I think some other YouTube reviewers have just got a hold of it and played with it. 
I've got my opportunity today to play with it. Uh, shot it once through a steel challenge. So 125 rounds minimum. I had enough misses. I probably shot 140 rounds through it anyways. And then I put another 100 rounds through it at the end of the match, doing group testing and just general purpose, you know, messing around with it and enjoying it. Not a single malfunction. Uh, I shot five types of five brands of ammunition through it. Uh, it shot great. Uh, accuracy testing all right around two inches. No matter what I threw through it, two inches. Now I'm just shooting rat grade ammunition. No match grade am ammunition made through the gun. So the really cool, which was, you know, people talk about Centec being inexpensive, which it is. The Federal, you know, one of their coated bullets. A lot of coated, coated bullets are being are popular nowadays, which because they're inexpensive and they're easier on their barrel, and uh, you know, they're they just work. Probably it must be low temperature because there's lower friction. You know, some of there's lots of good reasons why people would use them. Um, but I used them today in the match exclusively. And they shot, uh, again, right around two inches. Two, actually, I think it was two and a half for this. Uh, I'll have, you'll have to refer to the chart when the chart comes out. It shows all the different groups. But it's amazing. It shot very, very well. Very impressive with how well it shot. Uh, this is the grown-up competition brother of the TP9SA or the Elite or whatever. But this has the long slide, the really nice Warren tactical sights, U-notch rear. See that nice little U-notch rear? And there's the front sight right there. Really nice setup. Two back straps, good trigger. A couple of the guys shoot it today, so I know we got a little over 300 rounds to it today. Again, no malfunctions, no hint of malfunctions. It just runs. It comes with a couple of uh, extended uh, magazines. I like the old 19 rounds. This could be a good gun for production. An excellent gun for three gun. Again, sight radius, good trigger, works good. And if you're going to shoot carry optics or you're just an aged fellow like me and you want a red dot, you pop out this little plate right, right here. There's a little plate. Pop out the plate and you have four. It comes with four plates. You drop right on. It'll hold any red dot you're after, whether it's a doctor dot or an RMR from a Trigicon or me, the Burst Fast Fire. I have one mounted up, uh, which I probably should have done for my accuracy testing, uh, which I'll probably, maybe I'll revisit this. And I probably will. I'll revisit this, this again with the red dot on it, see if I can get any better groups out of it. But uh, it wants to shoot. It shot well. I like it. You'll like it. It's reasonable. I think it's 550 bucks or something like that. It does everything for very little. And I will do a comparison video with it, this, and I've been holding on to it. I've been wanting to sell it because it's not my cup of tea. But the uh, Walther PPQ M2. These are, they're very similar in outline and length and trigger pull and everything. Although well, this has better sights than the uh, Walther does out of the factory. And this comes at a lower price point. Now, if you want to compare this to the Q5 that has the, uh, you know, red dot uh, um, adaptability, this blows it away for value as long as it runs. And it really looks like taking it apart, the parts look uh, high quality inside of it. It looks like it's a very well built pistol. Yeah, it's from Turkey. CNC works the same the world around. Quality control makes all the difference. CNC programs run the same everywhere. So it can be any country of origin and you can still come out with a quality piece. It's quality control that makes a difference. Someone took the time to make sure this gun fit and uh, is finished correctly. Nice pistol. I think you'll like it. Check out the groups. Make sure you, as always, please do your best to, you know, buy from Federal Wind from you can. Uh, get all your all the steel targets you saw at the match today are MGM. M Without MGM, I couldn't shoot. MGM targets makes everything I shoot at and even makes the, has the paper available for me to shoot at. Today's groups were all on MGM target paper. Uh, so MGM for that. Defender Outdoors, when you, where you buy your guns and where I get my guns and reloading gear and stuff like that. Uh, federal, I, I, can, I can mention, you know, I can mention uh, Savage, but there's no Savage product shot today. But if you're going to buy a rifle, go look at Savage. Uh, in Red Hill Tactical Holsters, I, just, you know, at the very end of this thing, you'll see a little, uh, little uh, graphic come up with all the various sponsors that assist me. If you can, patronize one of them because they help me bring this to you. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Bye for now.